say y'all. I say y'all. I say y'all. I'm gonna give you guys five seconds to guess what I'm trying to say. Did you get it? Did you? Yeah. We are going to South Korea. Welcome guys to my channel. It's Sully's Lifestyle. If it's your first time stopping by, don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like, share, and drop your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. So, like I said, we are going to South Korea. Not the country itself, but a South Korean restaurant. So, if you watch uh, my previous video, you will know I am doing a series of trying out food around the continent. So, right now, I am in the Asian continent, and today we are going to South Korea. South Korea is not new to me. I have eaten your food so many times. I have watched your movies so many times. I have classmates, I have a co worker. So, South Korea is not new to me. It's also one of my pocket lists. So, I'm gonna come back to this video and be like, guys, remember when I told you when I went to the South Korea restaurant in Ottawa and I really wanted to go to South Korea? Ta da! Where is South Korea? But until then, we're just gonna enjoy this moment right now. So like I said, I'll be trying out a South Korean national dish. Trust me, I already know so much about it. Don't let me talk too much, so let's just keep it cute, like I said. So without further ado, let us go to a South Korean restaurant. Alright guys, so let's go to the Korean restaurant I told you we'll be visiting today. I didn't know the uh, the place was actually in Chinatown. I thought maybe it was just a regular place because I saw a lot of like Korean restaurants. And this one is called My Aunt Korean Restaurant. It's on the Somerset uh, Street, uh, kind of downtown Ottawa. The store is a little bit small. It's like, very, very like a small business owned and um, some of the side dishes i had was this potatoes which i am not a fan of potatoes at all and there is a uh, bean sprouts um it's kind of mm, i have a mm -mm kind of relationship with bean sprouts and of course there's kimchi because kimchi is actually the national dish of korea itself and of course i ordered for the seafood package which was $7.99 and it comes with a soy sauce which slaps i love it so much and the king of the day i ordered for some bp pa which is $15.99 which was really really good and it was fresh as well like it was really hot so at this point i'm like you know what let me try the kimchi because one thing about kimchi it has to be sour it has to slap you know that kind of feeling you get on your in your mouth you're like oh yeah something like that it has to be like that so at this point i'm like let me try the beef out of this so you have this sweet kind of like not spicy kind of stuff uh, and the big bar you have to mix everything up together that's the way you have to eat it like that's i'm sorry you have to mix the whole stuff the content you have to mix everything together to try that and when i tried that oh my god it was so hot i had to cover my mouth i was like oh jesus please and this was the egg so it wasn't like a runny runny egg it was, it was fried egg and i loved it as well at this point i was like okay wait what is this i was like then it was actually it was mushroom so i was like oh i actually love mushroom so when i tasted it too it was so good i was at this point i was searching for the next one like oh where are you where are you come outside here i really need you it's so bad i'm like you know what let me take a break because i want to try the seafood pancake and guys this seafood pancake actually slaps so good i was like wait what because it was so freshly made not soggy not nothing like that so good i really 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 love it like i was so happy i ordered for this and let me just give you some facts about korea himself for so south korea the capital is a uh, is uh, Seoul, uh, which is the third largest uh, city in the world. So I don't know whoever is this next to. And South Korea has the fastest internet in the entire world. Like, wow, I thought it would be the West. I didn't know it was South Korea, the Asia con country. Uh, also, like I said, I'm not a fan of potatoes, but the spring bean sprouts, I actually tried it, not bad. And the kimchi, of course itself, I finished everything, trust me. South Koreans are also known for like I think they drink a lot like the largest population in Asia that drinks a lot like it's just so much I don't know why they do that but just so that's who they are and to date South Korea and North Korea they're still fighting so you're not friends like don't play please leave them alone this experience was so good I hope you guys enjoy all right guys that's a wrap on the korean restaurant that i went to today in ottawa it was so good especially the seafood pancake it was so good guys 
I got another box because it was so fresh. I feel like you order for it and they actually make it. It's not like it was soggy or it was made in the morning or it was made 15 minutes ago and it's just like you have to rewarm it. No, this was like actually fresh, fresh, which was so overwhelming. I was like, yeah, this is good. There's no way I'm not taking one of this off. And the lady there, she was like, oh, are you like a social media influencer or something? I was like, no, I only do a YouTube kind of. She's like, oh yeah, you're so professional. Because I had my tripod and I had this other thing I use when I'm recording videos as well. It's like, yeah, you were so professional because when I came in, I was like setting up my camera and I set up everything. I don't even care if people were there now. I'm getting like I'm not really shy, shy, but I'm still shy. But I set up myself, I was ready. Say, oh yeah, that was so good. I was like, thank you. I know. Anyways, that was a wrap. Like I said, on the Korean restaurants. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I will see you in the next country or in the, my next video. Any one of it. Thank you.